Long ago, the citizens of the Caridian Desert lived prosperous and luxurious lives. All that changed when a mascot, the goddess of rebirth, became corrupt and warped. She became the devourer, intent on consuming every soul in existence. Deep within the desert, an ancient tomb has long hidden a great power, and she is determined to harness it at any cost. Hurry! Take the fight to a mascot before it's too late! Hey guys, I'm Coxie. In early 2020, I obtained all pets in the game, and now it's time to run it back. A fresh new account with no stats or items, starting from scratch. With one goal in mind, speedrunning all pets as fast as possible. This is Funny Feelings. Yo! Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What is up? How are we doing? Welcome back on in to Funny Feelings. Let's quickly, and I mean quickly, recap what happened in episode 15. We did over 25 master clues. We broke two Leviathan six hour records. We profited 1.1 billion GP and we obtained our 17th pet, Leviathan. All right, that's enough of the past. It's time to focus on the future. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Okay, okay, you'll have to make it snappy, but go grab a snack and coffee because it is officially time to get episode 16 of Funny Feelings kicked off. Oh, good morning. I've decided it's time to fill you guys in and keep you up to date. So this episode, it's gonna be dedicated to herbivore. I'm gonna spend 100 hours attempting to obtain this pet. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 I'm kidding. Okay, all right, for real this time. Now that I don't have Tangle Root, I don't have my morning farm runs to do anymore. I loved this activity, as it gave me 20 minutes to wake up, get some coffee in me, and get started for the day. Herbivore is going to be that morning farm run replacement. Just a simple 15 to 30 minutes a day is going to make the Casey climb up faster than you might believe. Future Coxie here. RuneScape just dropped a massive continental expansion, Varlamore. And with Varlamore comes new pets. I'm specifically here to talk to you about the Quetzal pet. This pet is obtained through hunter contracts. And from this point forward, it'll always be more efficient to grind this pet out first before any of the other hunter pets. Who knows, you might just get a free and completely passive Chenna Irby pet while hunting for the cute little Quetzal. Anyways, peep the prayer tracker in the bottom left of the screen. Last night, I hit 92 prayer. This gives me 31 prayer points with a super restore sip. And this is definitely gonna help with 500 invocation TOA and other PVM in general. 100% worth the time in my opinion. All right, let us begin. Five man 500s, well, six mans for the first couple of raids. We had a lot of people who wanted to raid. Anyways, let's let the session begin. Clean raids, good purples, no deaths. You know, just some dudes having fun at Tombs of a Masket. What more can you ask for? One of the things everyone should learn in high invocation raids is Akka Butterfly. The cycle allows you to mage Akka with Shadow while never taking a melee hit, meaning that it won't swap combat styles. It's super simple, zero tick loss pattern, and it allows the rest of your teammates to AFK and have a chill experience in the room before final phase. Trust me, take the time to learn it. Your team will be grateful. Okay, first purple of the day. Come on, Bogart, please do not let me down. Masori Chaps? Okay, easy money split. Nice, nice, nice. Reminder, rings, wards, masks, they're all non-split items since they're so cheap. So in other words, we hate when the teammates pull those items. And everything else, it's great to see. Oh, is anyone else just permanently stressed out during Akka's com- I, Excuse me, Akka's final phase? I'll admit, I've gotten better at dodging on this phase over time, but... Whew, let me tell you, it definitely took a while to not get hit by every single white ball coming your way. Tombs of Amaska is located deep in the desert, southeast of Sophenum, most easily accessed by AKP Fairy Ring or by Pharaoh Scepter. You'll want to set up similar to this. Downgrade where necessary, but understand that Shadow and Zarek Crossbow are crucial for maximizing your DPS throughout the raid. Pet Chance scales with Invocation level, so you'll really want to increase your Invocation level as you get more comfortable with the raid. Tombs of a Masket consists of four paths. I'd recommend using the order Baba, Kefri, Akka, then Zabak, due to the fact that salts have a greater impact on your overall DPS while ranging and maging compared to melee. Let's keep it simple. Maximize your points to maximize your pet chance. 
Baba is very straightforward. Stay max stats, don't miss ticks, and utilize red X on high invocation so food is not necessary. Kefri's puzzle gives contribution points, so actively participating will increase your pet chance. In the boss room, utilize chins, dedicate yourself to clearing up to swarms. This is going to give you the most points and best potential for MVP. During Akka, utilize Zeret crossbow specs on the shadows and make sure you're hitting the boss every 5 ticks. Finally, the Path of Krondus. During the puzzle, the team should be synchronized and can obtain 33 second puzzles every time, giving you the easiest 15 second time save. In the boss room, take advantage of your adrenaline potion, giving you more Zeret crossbow specs, one of the most powerful spec weapons in our game. In solos, Warden's skulls can be skipped, netting you slightly more total points, but be advised, this can easily wipe the raid, so avoid it if you are not confident. Tombs of a Masket is really all about keeping max stats, utilizing your adrenaline pots, and not missing ticks. 5-man 500s, my favorite and preferred skill, has a pet drop rate of 0.4452% per player, equating to roughly 225 raids to hit the pet rate. Taking a conservative average of raid completion being 30 minutes, hitting the pet rate comes out to be a surprising 113 hours, the shortest of the three raids pets. Good luck out there, and remember, sip blue and shoot purple. 88 KC and another purple. All right, let's check this board. Ooh, we're at the top of the leaderboard as well. Okay, this is actually very good to see when considering pet chance. More Masori chaps, yes, we like to see it. The Tombs of Mascus session is done for now. We got a couple of elites, so let's crack open these M's and get our easy, medium, and hard clue and get going on my favorite activity, Master Clue Breaks. Nice, there we go, let's turn these in. Two caskets, here we go, 291. And 292. Oh, nice. Okay. Torture ornament kit. This is a 4.5 mil chest as well. Wait. What is that in my bank next to my pets? A Bloodhound plushie from Creator Crafted? That is right. You can now bring some of your favorite pets to life with Creator Crafted's new collection of soft and cuddly plushies. Pre orders just open for these, and stock is limited, so do not wait. Let me know which ones you choose. I personally, I would love to use the Baron pet as a pillow. Creator Crafted also just dropped a bunch of new LED signs based on iconic designs of the best capes and shields in the game. These things will light up your gaming room for up to 50,000 hours. That's longer than it would take you to get 150 Bloodhounds on rate. While you're at it, check out their ultra smooth mouse pads featuring incredible artwork. The Tombs of a Masket one is sick. Not only are these signs and mouse pads officially licensed by Jagex, but they're also made by RuneScape players for RuneScape players, so you know their quality is going to be top notch. Act fast on these limited releases before they sell out. Click the link in the description or use code COXY10 for 10% off your order. Let's go! My favorite content is here Gym Mining baby okay all right why am i here other than the fact that it's the best rate for golem and it's one of the best skilling methods in the game i'm here because i need 85 mining for my max hits on akka's mining puzzle so i don't have the dragon pick spec allowing me to save my specs for zarek crossbow <laughs> i'm tired of seeing my pickaxe hit 12 so it's time to finish this level off there we go 85 mining which is a good thing but it is a bad thing because that means i'm done with gym mining but Let's finish this lap off real quick. And I'm not gonna lie, I got higher prayer. I finished up 85 mining. We finished all the chores I wanted to do. It's time to grind some TOA. Yeah, I lied. I'm waiting for a teammate to finish his Valorant game. So in the meantime, I'm running some Irby, not doing Tombs of a Masket. There's 500 KC, which is kind of cool. The pet rate is a one in 6,500. So it's a very long one, but this pet hunt is something I'll slowly work on over the next year or two. So there's absolutely no rush. Oh boy. First KC with me as Chinner and Kefri. This is a rule I've needed to learn as it's a very high chance to obtain MVP in this room, yielding higher pet chances at the end of the raid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very clean with it. I let so many swarms in on the second set. The big fat soldier is on me. There's bombs everywhere. Listen, this is hectic. All right, Kefri healed up to full. That's not how you swarm. Do not take the pathing advice or any general advice from that clip alone. Let's keep working on that. We'll clean it up. In other news, please listen to me. 
Guys, teach your team 33 second croc puzzle. You can go in and out and practice in a solo raid and just do it until you get it down. It's the easiest time save you'll ever be gifted, a minimum of 15 seconds saved with a team that can do croc puzzle in sync. This time save is more impactful than most gear upgrades you can actually get, and it costs zero other than literally 10 minutes of your time. Okay, purple in John's name, that is 97 KC. Good luck. Oh, an Ella Dennis Ward. Yeah, all right, cheers for nothing. All right, big 100 KC, and we got a purple. Yep, a light bear. Okay, well, that is no fun. Anyways, the pet right here is roughly 1 in 225 raids with these 5 man 500, so we're actually not far off the halfway point. Okay, I literally get more happy about these than purples. Let's put all four of these inside Watson real quick, and then back to the raids we go. Oh, oh, I'm getting bodied. Okay, well, we just got chanced by Ice Trolls more times than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Anyways, gasket time, 293, 224k, classic and average. In my name, okay! 105kc, please, just give me the staff. Well, okay, listen, it's the first one. It had to happen at some point. It's a call log pop-up. I've had seven purples, and this is the first ring in my name. That's pretty good RNG. We'll take it. The back-to-back, -back, and it's in my teammate's 1,000th KC. All right, the purple's in Ultra Miami's name. Good luck. Back-to-back -back rings. <laughs> All right, we go next. Sweet. It is not taking that long, and I'm still new to swarming, but definitely getting better with the cycle. It took a bit to get comfortable dodging all the bombs around the room while clearing the swarms, but we're finally starting to have consistent Kefris without letting any in. Progress! Oh god, I'm dead. God damn it. It's so much easier to concentrate when I don't have to fucking read chat and I don't have you guys typing goddamn Krako run 24 seven, whatever the hell that emote means. All I do is I look over and I see this damn Croc walking himself. What did I say? When it's Croc time, stop fucking reading chat. Purple for me, 112 KC. Huh? Oh, oh my gosh, I thought that was me. Oh, the pet pop-up baited me. And we get a ring to go along with it. Well, I think that's my first Tombs of a Masket pet scene. And let me tell you, it doesn't really feel that great. Ooh, one mil chest from base loot and a fang split. How good! Two caskets, 294. Oh, that's a pop-up. Okay, that's not pet. I'm sorry for the bait. 295. Okay, call log slot means a successful opening. We will take it. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously I can't show every purple, but this is back three back purples, and they're all three in Star's name. All right, please let us get lucky today. Yes! Masori body, today is a great day. That's the second best item we can pull right behind staff, and it's a decent split for the team. Quick, and this time, I mean quick. 296, 297, 298. Oh, ew. Okay, well, we're doing a lot of raids right now, and this is one of our clue-heavy pet hunts, so definitely expect a lot more masters to come. In my name! All right, this was the last raid of the day for us. Good luck us. Staff for the clog, please. Oh, well... Yeah, it's a clog, but not what I was looking for. Eladinus Ward, 5 mil added to my bank account. First one in my name, 125kc. Holy, yo, Coco out DPS to solve by a ton. Oh, no, 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 no. Another pet. Oh, man, I'm closing my eyes. We're going to the next raid immediately. Someone check Coco's PC. I don't think I've ever seen 15,000 damage in these five man 500s before. <laughs> Bro is DPSing like this is a four plus one raid. Purple in my name. Today is a great day. RNG gods grant me the gift of a sh. Okay, well. Uh, listen, a fang's a fang. We will take it. That is perfectly okay with me. Love seeing this item. 700 herbivore KC. And not that it matters, but we did hit 85 hunter. It's not significant, but hey, cool nevertheless. 
I'm pretty sure 80 to 99 Hunter is around 4,000 Herbivore KC, which isn't even that close to the pet rate. So I'm kind of expecting to be hunting Herby past 99 Hunter, which honestly, when you look at it, it's actually a positive because that means going into Chins will be 99 Hunter, and that's going to be a big time save. Today is a great day because we got Big Bodhi himself to pot some 5-man 500s with us. This should be content, and I'm personally just hoping to see him get gapped by Baba. <laughs> Oh, I just know he's going to mauled over it. Honestly, maybe he's the luck we need for a staff. At this point, I've seen a ton of purples and no staff. First raid of the day, first purple of the day, and it's in my name, okay? Oh, this is not the start to the day that I wanted. All right, sorry team, free 2.5 mil from me. We go next raid. Back to back purples. Oh, this one's in Bodhi's name, okay. All right, good luck. Bang factory, baby. That's a split and that's a win. Three caskets, but this time we're opening them while running to the tomb's bank <laughs> because the team is ready and waiting. All right, 299, 300, and 301. Nothing to write home about. Just classic average master loot. Oh, and Baba with the double kill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Yeah, in high invocation raids, this is a room where th when things start to go south, they typically go south fast and deaths are pretty common. Two more caskets. We are flying through these clues right now. 302, 420 clue, nice. And 303, nothing. Man, these chests are starting to feel more like it's an 80% purple rate and not a 55%. All right, drinks this time, good luck. Oh! Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, I never got to see a scythe at top, and I was scared when I come to Tombs of Masket, I was not going to see a staff here, but yes! All right, not anymore. Let's see this split. Five-man Tumican Shadow, here we go. 261 mil. Okay, yep. I love Tombs of Masket. You know, it might be my favorite raid now. Tob? Psh. You're nothing to me. You never coughed up a scythe. Listen, it might be a white light, but the elite pulls through. We're up to 163kc now. It's starting to climb pretty fast. Purple in my name. Okay, we got big sync on the team too. Do not let me disappoint him. <gasps> oh my... Yes! <laughs> Look at how beautiful it looks. Oh my gosh, it's in my name too. This is... Oh my, not even 10 KC apart from the last staff. We pull our second staff. Yes. Oh, RuneScape, you're a great game, dude. We are making money right now. 1 billion, 313 million GP selling price divided by five people. That is a 262 mil split. Woo-wee! Oh, I love it. The TOA session is over. We got three caskets stacked. Let's get it. 304, 305, and 306. Man, never Bloodhound. 175 Tombs of a Mask at KC, and it's a white light. Yo, all right. The one in 10 drop pulls through. We'll be right back. Let me go to Watson. Oh, back to back elites. Woo. Man, it just makes me so happy. I'm such a simple person. Give me elite clues and I will be the happiest person on the planet. All right, this is gonna be big number 200 KC. Oh, well, I just really wish this item didn't exist. All right, what is in store today, Taba? Ooh, okay, nice. Let me tell you what, seeing Fangs, they just never get old because you know Ring has the same drop rate and Fang, you're at least getting money out of it. I love it. Okay, it is almost 1 a.m. We're on back-to-back -back light bears and this is the last rate of the night. Please, I agree, Taba. Please just pull something. Everyone has been useless tonight. Oh, 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 big donkey, you are coming through. <laughs> Last raid of the night, he died on Warden that raid too, which is just a classic, but oh, I just I just know it's a 250 mil minimum split coming my way. Number three, 200 KC. I'd say it's pretty good. 
Oh, I could just ride this high all night long. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to go to bed now. But anyways, I'm paying him out the fang split from earlier. But 247 mil is huge. Wait. No way. We're maxed out on cash. Dang. All right. We're already starting to use plat tokens. Sheesh. 9.3 billion bank. Yeah, Tombs of Masca has been good to us. No, no way. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're two out of three raids pets. <laughs> oh, I just, I saw, I saw the red text actually before the pop up. Holy shit. All right, there's pet number 18. Nice. Nice. 18 pets, 91 days playtime, almost 92. 20 pets before 100 days playtime? Probably gonna happen. Oh, I guarantee we're lowest on the board too. This also didn't feel like that great of a raid from me. Uh oh, let's check board. Don't be. Oh, god damn. <laughs> uh... Shh, don't talk about that. Let's check out this call log. Wait, okay, that's actually not bad. Nice. There's no Musori body, but everything else is looking pretty good. We've got a shadow, and that's most of it. Oh, that chat box. There she is. Tumikid's Guardian. Funny feeling. 221 KC. Oh, boy. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. The best part of each video is here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is stats time. We obtained Tumikin's Guardian this episode, our second raids pet and our 18th pet overall. Using Wiki's brilliant TOA loot calculator, 500 scale five man pet comes out to be 0.4452%, assuming equal DPS and contribution, leading us to a pet rate of one in 225 raids to obtain this pet. Around 50 KC was done between invocation levels of 400 and 440, so I'm gonna take a rough and much more user-friendly, estimate of 0.4%, putting our pet rate at 1 in 250 raids due to the variety of invocation level. This puts us in the 67.82 percentile, meaning if we locked 100 RuneScape players in a room and forced them to go TOA until pet, assuming they used my invocation level and had the exact same contribution points as me, we should expect roughly 68 out of the 100 of them would have gotten luckier than myself and obtained pet before 221 KC. All right, all right, that's enough numbers. Let's wrap this up. A quick reminder and a big thank you to check out Creator Crafted's new line of plushies before they sell out. The link is in the description with a 10% discount code. Today marks 10 months and 16 days since our account creation with an in-game playtime of 91 days and 23 hours. During our time at Tombs of a Masket, we had 33 Fang splits, 10 Masori body splits, 13 Masori chap splits, and 3 Tumikin shadow splits. In my name, I obtained 5 rings, 4 wards, and 2 masks which were all kept to myself. In total, I profited around 1.6 billion GP from this pet hunt and obtained 23 elite clues. At a conservative estimate of two Tombs of a Mask at KC an hour, or 30 minutes of raid, obtaining Tumikin's Guardian 29 KC before the drop rate saved me roughly 15 hours. Leaving off from last episode, we are 263 hours lucky on the pets we currently have, and with our lucky Tumikin's Guardian, that jumps up to 278. We're up to 18 pets now. I don't want to be a broken record, but this speedrun is just continuing to thrive. 